All right, guys. So I have found some Harry Potter art box cards for sale. This one's 32,780 yen. I don't really know what this is. Is this like the Honeyduke Sweets? I'm thinking it is. I mean, look at that. And then they have this one, which, um, you know, I don't actually have this one. I thought this was the licorice from the Saucer Stone, but it's not. And then we have this one. Now, I do have this one. This is the Authentic Prop Park Prison of Azkaban. So, amazing. They have those three here. And where are we? We are at a giant card store. I'm gonna go see if this is worth buying or not. Okay. Hello. There we go. That's better. Okay, guys. So, I just bought two art box prop cards. And I had no idea they would be here. This is where I went, guys. Right here. Somehow, Harry Potter was in here. I was like, there's no way Harry Potter's gonna be in here. And yet, there was. So, I will be doing a video about these two, eventually. Okay, guys, update for you. I am back home from Japan. And yes, I did buy two of the three art box prop cards that I found randomly in that store. Like I previously said, it was like a sports cards shop it wasn't for harry potter i don't even know what they were doing there but they were the only three that i asked the employees do you have any other cards and they said no but i want to make a correction so in my first clip i had said that i had the other card that i was missing i actually don't i have the fizzing wisby's prop card and that one is not the fizzing wisby's that's exploding bonbons but I did research that card because I was like really tempted to go and pick it up also. But the price just wasn't there. It was too expensive for what it was selling for on eBay. It sold the latest card. It was only one card on eBay, right? But that card had sold for less than $100. So why would I spend $200 on it, right? That, that's where my mindset was. Now as for the other two, I have them. I want to look at them together. I was saving it for the 4K and the nice relaxation and everything. Here they are. These are from the Prison of Azkaban series, not the update, so the original one. And this one is the first one. Uh, it came in this nice case as well. So here is an image of Harry, Ron, and Hermione. You can see one of the Weasley twins in the background, some Gryffindor students. And they're all looking at Honey Duke Sweets that Ron and Hermione had bought Harry. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this scene is actually like a deleted scene from the movie. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember precisely. But here it is. This is Black Pepper Imps, and you can see at the very bottom, number 38 on 90. Now, because that's such a low number, I thought it was like a case incentive or whatever. But no, it's just a prop card that has a really, really low number. And it's in pretty darn good condition, too. And I don't even have to change the case because it's really, really nice. For the most part, there are some scratches on it, but I'm not going to bother changing the case just for that. But let's take another look at the prop. It's Black Pepper Imps. And there you can see some of the recipes of the black pepper imps packaging. Or I shouldn't say recipe, but like the ingredients. There it is, guys. There is the official art box prop card. I am getting a bit ahead of myself. If you guys don't know what art box prop cards are, they're actually prop cards from the movie. Like this little piece that's right there, that's from the sets. Artbox doesn't exist anymore. They were a company that sold cards of various IPs and obviously included Harry Potter. They went bankrupt around 2012, so the only way you can get these cards is like eBay, Mercari, secondhand shops, or randomly card shops in Japan now too, which I have never seen a card sale in physical form. Wild to me. So that is the first one. Um, they were about $200 each, mind you, but pretty darn good price. For cards that you can never find. Now, here's the thing. Like I was saying previously, I do have the Licorice Spiders, but I have that from the Sorcerer's Stone series uh, when Harry and Ron are eating candy on the Hogwarts Express. But this one is, again, from Prisoner of Azkaban. The same image used, just a different one. And this one is Spindle's Licorice Spiders. Like I said, I already have this prop from another movie, but it's very, very similar. You got spider webs. I like to play on words, you know, licorice spiders, licorice spiders, you know, so that's funny. And this one's 26 
on 70, which is an even lower number. It's not a case incentive or a topper. It's just a really low numbered prop card, which is really weird. But there you have it. So yeah, and I did get a um, tax refund. I showed them my passport, so I got a couple of bucks back, which is nice. So yeah, I do have everything, like my receipts. I keep all my receipts for, you know, collector's purposes. You want to know how much you paid for them and everything. So I do have that, and I really want to show you guys those these cards because I was so impressed that I found them. So shocked. Just like, what? There, there you go. Those are my two latest art box cards that I've added to my collection. If you want to see the rest of my Prison of Azkaban series, uh, you can find it in the playlist on my channel. I will probably do an updated uh, video of all the art box cards that I have bought in the last year. Because there's a lot and I haven't really talked about them on the channel. And I haven't really showed them on Instagram either. So, like, honestly, you guys have no idea what I've been up to. But I have been busy. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the end of this quick little unboxing video from Japan. I will see you guys all next time. Bye!